Hey, what's up, people? It's me, Danger Mouse 1337, back with another commentary. Now, of course, the last commentary, my first one on this channel, was the one about the professor. And the little old professor failed to learn a single thing of what I was trying to tell him. I mean, after I had released my searing expose on him and his pedophilic ways. He should have done the decent thing and jumped headfirst into the nearest wood chipper after closing his account, but he didn't. And he continues to make videos after I sodomized him like a Catholic choir boy after midnight mass. I have no clue how someone can continue to be this fucking dense. So I'm going to do his newest video and see how he likes it this time. Though, of course, I can't say that my last video had absolutely no impact on him. In fact, let's do a little dramatic reading of a comment he left on that video. And another thing is, I'm going to try and imitate his voice. Just, I, I can't quite get it right, but just bear with me. At me. Nope, I couldn't handle it. I is in corner crying eyes out. You called me gay. Well, call me crazy, but I think I'm going to be calling you a lot more than gay during this video. Now, on with the commentary. Hello, everyone. Once again, this is the Professor. The evil British version of the Professor, as it were. And once again, I'm left wondering as to your national origins. Though I can agree that if you aren't British, you're doing a pretty damn good job at impersonating the accent. Today, I'm going to be looking at another YouTuber who is... A fucking idiot, to say the least bit. But before I do, before I start covering the main subject today, I have a message for a one, what is it, Danger Mouse 1337 Oh, looky here, he actually had the intestinal fortitude to respond to my last commentary. Let's see what he says. What a fucking retarded username you have here. Wait, so that's it? You're gonna do nothing but insult my username? You haven't got a single thing to say about anything I said in my commentary? Well, good to know that you can very easily just ad harm people without a fucking dealing with the single point they made. You know what? No, just fuck you. I'm gonna basically skip the two minutes you spend going on and on about how I'm ripping off Smugleaf using my username. By the way, the word mouse isn't copyrighted by Smugleaf. Anyone can put the word mouse in their username. Fucking idiots! That's all you fucking are making your little commentary on me! God, fuck it. Go fuck yourself, you stupid fucking twat! Remember to stay classy there, Professor. You don't fucking know what you're doing and using your fake British accent. What the fuck? You're not fucking British. I know better than that. You might be Scottish or Irish or something, but you're not fucking British. I know that. Actually, you're wrong. I'm originally from the British Virgin Islands, which is a place you might like to visit considering you couldn't get laid in a morgue. So go fuck yourself, you stupid fucking idiot. But now today, we need to move on. Because <laughs> I'm going way off fucking track here, aren't I? I'll give you this. At least you know when you're fucking around. Yes. To get back on track, I would like to introduce you all to a one YouTuber who is a fucking commentator, of course, all these fucking commentator faggots out there. Oh, I agree. I'm so sick and tired of these faggot commentators out here. He goes by the username of mskull01. What the fuck kind of name of a YouTuber is that? mskull01, really? Okay, what the fuck is the deal with you ripping on other people's usernames? I mean, the old gay professor is a pretty fucking bad username, even if it is a perfect encapsulation of you. Really? What the fuck? Mskull01? Did you get dropped as a child? Are you mentally retarded to make a name such as this? It makes absolutely no sense, at least that fucking Danger Mouse person, there was a reason for it. Yeah, Nonny Mouse 1337 was taken. He wants to seem epic, and he's ripping off Smugleaf. I can explain this fucking username, but mskull01. And to call yourself Madison Skull, well, I guess that explains the mskull01, but your real name is Eli. Well, it looks like we have a new sick Kirby situation on our hands. So how the fuck did you come up with Madison Skull and then mskull01, and oh, thank you for putting the 01 at the end of the name, because we couldn't obviously already tell you we're the only fucking idiot who would use a name like mskull on YouTube. Thank God there's no more. Actually, the reason why I put the 01 was probably because the name was already taken. Just doing a quick search, you'll see a few other channels called mskull, so you're wrong there. 
But as much as I could sit here for 15 minutes ranting about his shitty ass username Please don't, the monkey's tired after all the skipping we had to do earlier. I need to move on because there's much more pressing matters to attend to with this expose on a young Eli. I don't really know, but he seems to be of some ethnicity of s something other than Caucasian. And as we know, Caucasians are the ultimate race. Because that doesn't make you sound like a neo-fascist at all. I don't know what he is. He could be he could be Chinese or Japanese or Taiwanese or maybe even Scandinavian or Cuban or whatever. I don't fucking care. I'm going to make fun of him either way it goes around because, as you know, I'm British and British people don't give two shits about being racist. They also don't give two shits about dental hygiene. What's your point? Just as much as the Americans in this fucking world don't give a shit if they're all getting fat because they're too fucking stupid to get off their sorry little arses and actually go do something for once in their lives other than watch the stupid fucking telly. I don't think it's a TV so much as the three litre small beverages that are the problem in America. And watch shit with that goddamn Gordon Ramsay like that master chef which pales a comparison to the British version of the show because Britain is the greatest fucking country in the world you stupid fucking twats. Bitch, please. Everyone knows the Australian Master Chef is the best of the lot. But uh, look, I'm getting off track again. We're talking about Madison Star, Eli, the stupid faggot. Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't like the word faggot. Oh, I better try to find another word around. No, I fucking won't. Wow, what a great and sensitive human being you are, you fucking faggot. I don't know what it is. He seems to be pro homosexuality. And as you all know, Homosexuality is against the Bible, and yet I think he said he was a Christian. What kind of a fucking Christian can you be and be pro-homosexuality? Your Bible teaches you not to like homosexuals. Fuck, as someone who actually backs and supports the Westboro Baptist Church, I completely understand that everyone in this fucking world deserves to die because none of us are fucking perfect other than the people at the Westboro Baptist Church. Oh, so you're one of them self-hating queers then, are you? Which means you need to die, but I don't because I back their actions. They're the greatest fucking people to ever exist, you fucking nimrod. But really, you're gonna support homosexuality despite the fact that the Bible, which is the end or be of any defense and argument to ever exist, tells you not to like it? And you're making clear the problem with people who've only ever read one book in their entire lives right here. And you seem to be in support of these furries. God, these furry idiots who dress like dogs and cats and go out yiffing each other. Dear God, they just make me sick. But you're in support of them. What the fuck is wrong with you, you dumbass? But once again, we need to get back to his fucking channel. Now, I pray to Jesus at this point, though I don't even believe in him, that you will stop these ad hominem attacks and these random fucking tangents, but something deep inside of me doubts this. His channel. What, what exactly is on his channel, you might ask? Well, as my loyal viewers, I will be more than happy to tell you. He's got commentaries. And more commentaries. And commentaries. And one shot commentaries and more videos on commentaries. This guy has absolutely no talent outside of commentaries, apparently. He has no ability to do anything that doesn't involve commentaries. Well, even if that's true, can you at least admit that he's the best commentator out there at the moment? Or at least not, if you don't think he's the best, at least one of the best. I don't understand this either because he's friends with this one T Brett asshole who is not a fan of commentaries or commentators in the least bit, which would mean by association this Madison score asshole doesn't like commentaries very much either. Yeah, because guilt by association isn't a common logical fallacy or anything. It makes it seem like he's another one of these fucking in my sleeps maxi pad, this dumbass on the internet who makes commentaries, and yet he says how horrible and stupid commentators are. God, it's like Jim81 Jim all over again and Boomstick545, that stupid bugget. Oh, by the way, Boomstick was actually gay, so I'm completely right by saying the word faggot, no matter how offensive it is to these people. You realize that calling an actual homosexual faggot makes things about ten times worse? Dear God, I don't give a shit. But really, and speaking of Boomstick, people think that this Madison Skull is the same, is just as good if not better than Boomstick, the greatest fucking thing since sliced fucking bread. But I thought you said you hated commentators. I mean, Boomstick was a commentator, unless I'm misinterpreting what you're saying here. 
But then again, from what I understand, he was inspired by Boomstick. So it's no wonder that this Madison Skull character seems gay. After all, listen to him, he has a fucking lisp. And only people who are gay who have lisp. That's it. If you are gay, you have a lisp. If you don't have a lisp, then you're fucking not gay. I don't care what you say. Even if you come out and say, Oh, I like to suck men's cocks. Do you have a lisp? Well, no. Well, then you're not fucking gay, you dumbass. Because you don't have a lisp. Only gay people have lisp. And only lispy people are gay. All you're doing here is making me wonder why you don't have a lisp. And if you have a lisp and you say you don't like sucking cocks, well, you better learn to because you're fucking gay. What else can I say about that? But I'm getting off track again. There's just so many things to say about this fucker that I really don't want to get to it because I know just how hard it's going to be to get everything out there. So the reason you've been stumbling around the place like a drunken hobo high on bad methylated spirits down on some railway tracks is pretty much that you are too much of a pussy to stick to your main points. Wonderful. But he makes nothing but fucking commentaries and one-shot commentaries. Oh, I understand. Yes, he makes these Wisdoms of Madison Skull videos. These little 30-second videos. The fuck, I don't even know why he fucking makes them. He shows a picture of, like, the book Twilight and laughs or says something stupid that he thinks is witty. And it proves nothing. Well, if you think the Wisdom of Madison Skull is bad, you should check out some of Smug Leaf's filler sometime. I mean, that shit is ten times worse. Oh, your wisdom does nothing more than to prove how fucking incompetent you really are, you dumbass. And that's what he does in his commentaries as well. If it's not making a fucking barnyard animal noise by saying things like yada bling, yada blue, and gabbly loo, and... <laughs> Then he's just fucking making non sequiturs and pulling them straight out of his stinky little fucking asshole. Well, that's bloody ironic considering that this video has been nothing more than an endless, relentless stream of non sequiturs itself. Now, do I think he's better than that other idiot fucking commentator I did the other day, Youngblood Fantasy 92, that stupid closet fairy asshole? Not now! But then again, there are different types of commentators. This Youngblood fantasy character, well, he tries to seem smart. He's got his head so far up his own fucking ass that he can't see how much of a pseudo-lectual fucking nimrod he actually is. Last time I looked, pseudo-lectual isn't actually a word. Well, this Amscore Zero One character is a fucking weeaboo faggot who thinks he's funny even though he's not pulling non sequiturs out of his ass which is majestic and magical for the sole fact that he's got his own fucking head up there i don't know how he can pull anything else out of his ass when his head is in the way again i'm obligated to point out that you're a fucking hypocrite but really how can there be so many people that like this fucker he's got well over four thousand subscribers and he does nothing entertaining and you don't even have a thousand subscribers, and yet your videos are about as appealing as the prospect of anal masturbation with the cactus stuffed with razor blades. And 4,000 subscribers? Are there really 4,000 fucking idiots in this world? Well, one thing's for sure, there are at least 630 in this world, because that's exactly how many are subscribed to you right now. Truly? Oh, every last one of you fucking retarded to think that someone like Madison Skull is fucking entertaining. You're a fucking idiot. You're just as much of a fucking idiot as he is. Although then again, you're probably just some three-year-old little twit who barely has been coming out of his mother's twat. So I guess you have a love-hate relationship with little children then. To be able to understand what the fuck is going on in this world, because his form of comedy is the same kind of comedy that three-year-olds laugh to. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Were you laughing at your own joke? Hold on, I'll replay it a couple times. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you right now, this whole video reeks of someone who's bitter that he is the only person who laughs at his own jokes. In all honesty, his comedy is about on the same level as people like Onision, who thinks it's funny to hit people in the stomach when they're pregnant. As the only member of the community who's ever spent a lot of time commentating on Onision, let me tell you this, that was way too fucking far, man. And Shane Dawson! Dear fucking lord, yes I said it, he's on the same level as Shane Dawson and Onision. And you're laughing at this shit and you go over to these people's channels and you think, oh they're just a bunch of fucking idiots. Let me go back to Madison Skull and say, oh Mr. M Skull, Mr. Eli, could you show me your cock again so I can suck on it? It's at this point I truly question how you even have fans, man. You're just such a dick. I think that you pretty much just bought yourself 600 bot subscribers. Yes. 
all of you fuckers, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way, because it happened in the last video, I had fucking white knights come to my video thinking that they could defend that young blood fantasy 91 dumbass by white knighting him on my channel. Look man, when you tell someone to jump off a cliff and die, honest to god, you gotta expect some people to come out and say, whoa, that's going too far. I'm not jealous of this Madison Skull idiot. He's got over 4,000 subscribers, yes, but on quite a few of his videos, he barely breaks a thousand views. Fuck you, I have less subscribers than him, and yet my view count for videos is always higher than my subscriber count. Okay, out with it, man. What's the trick? I mean, I know you video bump. Are you, are you using view bots, or are you just like switching your region to Nigeria and back so that you get extra mobile views? Dear fucking lord, you fucking idiot. How can I be jealous of someone like that? But if you really think I'm jealous, and you think I do nothing more than want to suck his cock, well, how about you move out of the way first? I think you fanboys are doing a damn good job sucking his cock for me. There's no room for me, so why should I try to jump in? Jesus, man, you really have some unresolved issues that a psychologist needs to deal with pronto. You do a wonderful job pleasuring every need that he has. Now get off my fucking channel and go back to Madison Skull so you can pleasure yourself properly. Now let me get back to Madison Skull because I went off on a tangent on something that wasn't him yet again. Dear God, I'm just losing it today. Thanks for reminding me. Now for fuck's sake, try and stay on track this time. This dumbass has just muddled my mind to an extent that I can't even think straight to properly berate and bash him. And this fucker, I've tried to talk to him on Skype, but no, he's like, I don't want to talk to you on Skype. Maybe you should try not calling him a faggot. Maybe that'll help. He doesn't like me for some reason, and I don't fucking care. I just wish he would talk to me on Skype once in a while so I could berate him there. But seeing as that's not going to happen, I'm going to do it here in a video that he probably won't watch because he's got his head so far up his own fucking ass that he can't see anything else other than him. So if this is supposed to be a direct critique of him, how will it even help if he can't even see your damn video? What's the point of making your damn video then? If it's not praising him, oh, he's probably not gonna like it. Think about it. He had this one video where he sang at the end of it, and thank God, just real quick, as much as My Chemical Romance fucking sucks and is one of the worst fucking bands in the world, thank God he uses that instead of his own singing voice, because when he tried to parody that Hitalia song, I, I, I swear to God, I vomited. I vomited my fish and chips from the night before. I threw up all over the fucking place, projectile vomiting all over the wall because his singing voice is that fucking horrid. Well, he's a commentator, not a professional singer, so that much is to be expected. As much as I hate My Chemical Romance and think they're one of the gayest bands to ever exist, thank you, Eli, for not subjecting us to your shitty singing in every video. As much as I never thought that this would happen, finally, a point I kind of agree with. But then again, look at his outro. It's nothing more than these... Throw your faggots on the internet over and over again. Oh, you're so witty and clever, aren't you? Doing the same thing as fucking third-gen faggots, and yet you call yourself a first-gen commentator. Like I said, people, every commentator in this world is a fucking idiot. They're all fucking gay. They're stupid. They make some of the most worthless videos in the world. Seriously. Oh, I couldn't agree more, and I think a more in-depth analysis of these shitty videos is called for. We can start with Professor Commentaries and work our way up from there. But, really, what else is there really to say about this guy, other than during his one-shot commentaries, he uses this fucking Slaughterhouse song, where at the end he gives us all air rape. By now, yes, we should be used to it, my fucking ear, ear, ear drums are blown from watching his shit. <laughs> you think his videos are ear rape? Bitch, please, why don't you try watching one of your own videos? During the course of this video, I had to take a couple of bloody Neuromol tablets to keep the headache from overwhelming me. To be able to make this video correctly and properly berate him and properly destroy everything about him. And that's probably another reason why he won't come back at me. It's why Youngblood Fantasy 91 didn't come after my last video I made. Because he honestly knew I owned his fucking ass. Either that or you're just trolling for attention and neither of them can be bothered giving it to you. And that just burns you inside, doesn't it? I owned him. 
I destroyed everything about him, destroyed his credibility. And in this video, I'm doing it to this fucking Madison Skull. But everyone, that's all I got to say about him. He's been thoroughly destroyed. No, I'm afraid the only thing that's been destroyed during this video is my hearing in my left ear. Who will I go out to next? Well, I have a feeling he's this person on the YouTubes who happens to be black. Oh yes, I'm going to go there and make fun of a black person. Uh-oh, that's not good. Who has multi-personality disorder. Who calls himself this nation of Johnny whatever the fuck he is. Why do I have a feeling? that this video is gonna make Hodges thoughts a blackbuster critic. Then there was that one time you accidentally traded places and you took it while your ancestors took it with a fucking whip. Right in your dirty asshole! Look like a NAACP meeting. And he uses a goddamn furry cat. God, another fucking furry that I'm gonna rant about. I've already done that twice. Dear God, Madison Skull the furry. Young Blood Fantasy 91 the furry. Because you've clearly demonstrated the validity of your claims throughout these videos. And now, this Nation of Johnny K next. And real quick, Madison Skull, how the fuck dare you criticize someone's fucking avatar when 90% of the time you use a black fucking screen, you twit? Guys, you're not going to believe this, but due to a lot of research and painstaking editing on my part, I have discovered a preview of the video he's going to make next. Oh, go get him, boys! So yeah, that pretty much speaks for itself. We can add racist onto the list of things that he is, and it's a growing fucking list. In summary... Did he learn anything? No, he decided to go after someone better than him again. And he failed at it again. And now the next time he's going to go and try and attack Loudon, and he's going to fail again, and he's going to look even more stupid. Now, if I was your average e-drama whore, I'd encourage all of my subscribers, all 16 of you guys, to go over to his channel and flag the shit out of his videos. You can flag the video I'm responding to in this commentary for, of course, promoting terrorism because it makes you want to go to his house and commit acts of violence on him. You could flag his original two videos, the two before this, because they're both replying to underage ch ch children and therefore they were child abuse. And you could flag his next video for hate speech because he's responding to a black guy and we just can't have that. Now guys, I advise just leaving him the fuck alone. You, what, you, what we need to do is just sit back and see him dig himself in deeper and deeper hole. In fact, I'm not going to commentate on him for a while. I'm going to go away a little bit, leave the butt drape off for a little while, see if he matures, if he grows as a person, and if he fails to, I'll come back and I'll butt rape him twice as hard. Anyhow, this has been Danger Mouse 1337, and until next time, sayonara, bitches.